Okay, so I know I am a sweaty mess, but this is what happens um, when I work out. I am not a uh, like beat face red type of person. I just sweat it out. And I'm cooling down from my treadmill workout and I just ran four miles, four miles. And the reason I've been running inside is because it is so hot and that's thunder and lightning outside. It's like storming pretty bad. It's pretty cool because the city that we moved to has like amazing thunderstorms and they only happen like maybe once a day and they like last for like 20 minutes and that's it. But basically I wanted to talk about self-care and how important that is. Um, especially for mamas, I mean for everybody, like let's be honest, everybody needs self-care. Um, let me see, I'm wiping off this camera guys, I'm sorry. I just want it to be a little more clear. But basically, it is so, 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 so important. Um, I remember, like I talked about in my anxiety video, if you caught that, I don't know. <laughs> um, if I have like people like constantly watching my videos, life gets busy and crazy, so you never know. Um, but basically, when I had really bad anxiety, I didn't really ever prior prioritize self-care. I thought that like taking care of myself was just um, every once in a while, fitting in a workout. But even that can be tricky because yeah, you can work out, but not really be thinking about like how that's taking care of your body, like not being mindful about it, if that makes sense. So when I would work out, I'd like work out to like, lose weight and be skinny but that wasn't showing my body any love whatsoever and i realized things started changing when i started taking care of myself and just kind of like an update i guess i can make this an update i'm trying to find like a good place to stand to sit whatever maybe i can put you guys on this treadmill and really i'm fitting this in because like i've been mentioning like in the description of my videos um, Jay has been very busy, a very busy baby, and I am learning how to make time to do things that I love along with taking care of her, and it's been tricky because I'm always like, oh, but I want to take care of her. So it's tricky and it's hard, and I'm sure other mamas can relate, but it's hard to be like, okay, John, just take care of her for a minute while I take care of myself because I always want to be the one taking care of her. Anyway, my mom's in town, so that's nice. It kind of takes the pressure off of um, trying to fit in time like while John's not working because he also has his life and he also has and needs time for his self-care. So it's just really interesting to kind of find time that I'm doing it and I wanna or I am going to stop making excuses and start just doing it and just doing what I love because I love like even if nobody watches these videos like seriously if no one watches these videos I don't care because it's so nice I'm like bending over and this is the most awkward position but it's so nice just to talk about how I'm feeling and just let it out because I'm sure other moms can understand and relate and that's what's so beautiful about the online community is it connects everyone like connects people that wouldn't normally be social wouldn't normally like get out of the house or even if you are normally getting out of the house like i am so used to being active and going places but being a stay-at-home mom it's just more challenging because you're working around nap schedules you're working around everything is surrounded around your baby and then if you go places like your baby can have um be fussy or like need to go home so it's just like so different being a stay-at-home mom compared to like being in the workforce if that makes sense like when i was working i was so used to getting my socializing in and so used to talking to people and then also we moved like nine hours away into colorado from utah away from all my buddies <laughs> all my best friends so that's challenging a little bit but you know what i'm making it into a blessing because I have been going to mommy groups and that's been amazing um, I'm meeting new friends and it's just nice to have people like on the same wavelength there are girls that have there's um, one girl in particular that has a baby just like not even a month older than Jaden and it's just like 
so nice to like be going through the same thing at the same time and have someone to relate to um it's just so nice like i love community and community is so important um but beyond that i know this is like going off it's like <laughs> crazy but beyond that um i'm six months postpartum and i've been doing like really good physically but honestly my mental health has been slacking which is why i'm making this video about self-care because i just kind of was in a funk and i'm getting out of it now um i was in a funk not for a long time it wasn't anything that like was like oh my gosh like i'm gonna be in this forever just because i've been through so much that i'm just like it's not gonna last forever and i know that um but it's definitely a funk and that just kind of happens i feel like when you're putting your mental health on the back burner as a mom it's challenging to balance everything and i don't know if we'll ever find an optimal balance i really need a drink guys but um i know that could be annoying hearing a slurping sound but I don't know if as mamas we'll ever find a balance, but I am like really prioritizing my self-care and just kind of like a couple of things that I've been doing. I've been making sure I journal every night and I researched how many days it takes to create a habit and I found that it's 66 and I didn't even know that. I thought it was still like the 21 days or whatever, 28 days. Um, but no, it's 66 now and so I'm making it a goal every day to journal for at least 66 days So I just have the habit down of journaling every night um, I can do better areas. I can do better in is um, Meditating for longer that helps with anxiety so much But I get to learn how to fit that into my morning routine. Our mornings have been pretty busy. So I just and I have like my routine with Jaden of like getting her dressed in a new outfit every day and like putting on lotion and her whole morning routine that sometimes it can be challenging as a mom to remember my morning routine and like right when i get out of the door i'm like oh i just want to go work out so that i don't miss a workout because i have this little window until john goes to work so i get to figure that out <laughs> i get to figure out how to meditate um like at what times i can because that seriously helps with mental health so much and then also i'm back to like reading books um i definitely want to talk about like book recommendations and all that and then um just having my mom here is really nice because it's so weird having extra hands because usually my day consists of john being gone pretty much all day like the whole day until like like 9 p.m. I would say some days he's here longer some days it's, he's gone all day and so it normally consists of just me taking care of her and I don't have family or friends near us because we moved like I mentioned so it's just so nice having extra set of hands just to be like oh can you hold her real quick just while I go get dressed um, just little things like that are so helpful so I'm prioritizing self-care, definitely. I get to do that. I also ordered um, the Start Today journal by Rachel Hollis, which I'm so excited about. It's like a little intimidating because I'm like, what are my goals? I don't even know. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link that down below. Um, but yeah, so basically that's where my mental health has been. Not the greatest, but it's not anything that I'm like worried about because it's just times you get into those funky times and you work through it and it's yeah you just work through it and i've been praying a lot and um sleep has been getting better actually i'm like working on Jaden's sleep just so i can have more sleep um and that like definitely helps i've said um like 90 times guys i used to be so good at not doing that for my last job and then now i say it all the time what else? Just saying when I'm having a hard time is so helpful because if you're like me and you just pretend like everything's okay all the time, it can be so challenging to like actually say how you're feeling. Um, I am, I said it again. I definitely am one to kind of bottle up everything. Don't tell anyone how I'm feeling because I'm strong and strong and then i just like blow up not like angry but blow up crying and i'm like ah, and then i get into these funks so i am learning to just say like 
this is how I'm feeling and it's okay. I'm not like dampening anyone's day. People that love you want to know how you're doing and they know if something's up. So I'm learning to speak out and just be like, I'm having a rough time right now and that's okay. It's going to get better. Um, and talking to my best friends about it, I can hear myself <laughs> anytime I say, um, and then basically Jaden's doing amazing. I want to do an update video, like her six month, half year. She said her first word. She said, dad, dad. She says mama sometimes, like not intentionally, I don't think, but she says dad, dad all the time. So she looks like him says his name all the time. So that's, I'm just chop liver. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but basically that's pretty much it. Oh, and then I've been going to yoga uh, every Saturday in the morning outside. It's so nice. But yeah, that's basically how I'm doing guys. And I'm feeling really good right now because I just did four miles and I always feel so good. So that's why I wanted to film this, but I hope you're having an amazing day. Follow me on Instagram. And then I will put my Instagram handle, but it's underscore at underscore Mother Teresa. I say that on every video, but I just post there all the time so you can see how everything's going in my life. And then let me know how you're doing if you're a new mom. Seriously, community is everything. So please comment down below or if you want to find me on Instagram and talk to me there. Seriously, like community is everything. Even if you're not a new mom and you just want to chat, just like let me know um 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 so yeah guys have a good day and i want to show you guys my outfit i love this thing because i got it for my mom for she bought it for me i never get anything for myself i don't know why it's like i get to do that more often but it says empowered and it just cute little shorts yeah, that's my workout outfit, but I hope you guys have an amazing day. Let me know how you're doing. It's so good to just finally talk to you guys, and I am hoping to get this up like soon. <laughs> I always film, and then a month or two months later goes by, and then I finally post it. So I am going to post, post, post. Uh, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I will see you later. Bye.